Today's chemistry demo is on the effect that pH has on protein solubility. This is going to be demonstrated by adding HCl to a casein solution and reversing the reaction by adding NaOH. You're going to see how the pH and solubility are correlated by doing this. Casein is the material that you need for this experiment, so I'm going to show you how to extract it. Step 1. Pour 300 milliliters of organic skim milk into a beaker, then heat until simmering. Step two, now the milk is simmering, so I'm going to put 10 milliliters of vinegar slowly into the milk and stir. What reaction is happening right now? The reactants are milk and the acid from the vinegar. Vinegar contains hydrogen atoms with a positive charge. Since opposite charges attract, the positively charged hydrogen atoms in the vinegar are attracted to the negatively charged protein molecules. So the vinegar is reacting with the proteins in the milk to form the product casein, which is the solid forming. Once there looks like there is a clear separation from the solid and the liquid, remove and get ready for the next step. What is casein? Casein is a mixture of proteins. So to clarify, proteins are polymers of amino acids and can differ greatly in structure. Since there are so many different proteins in milk that all contain the common amino acids, common amino acids meaning the ones that our body does not produce on its own, it makes for casein to be easily produced by acidifying skim milk. Why skim milk? Milk has three main ingredients, lactose and sugar, proteins, and fats. Now the reason to use skim milk like I did in this experiment, is because it only has lactose and protein, and not fat. Step three, now that you have extracted casein from milk, you are now going to drain out the excess of non-protein milk um, using a paper towel and a beaker. On the right is the casein, and on the left is the liquid left over from the milk. A general structure of an amino acid may be represented by any of the three squares up above, where R is one of a group of about 20 different structures called side chains. Because proteins contain amino acids that have acidic or basic side chains, they are sensitive to pH of a solution in which they are dissolved. As the pH of such a solution is changed, the degree of ionization of the group changes. In order for the protein to remain in solution, it must have a net charge. If the pH is at a value such as the few of the acidic groups are ionized and few of the basic groups are proteinized, then the protein will come out of the solution. This phenomenon is illustrated in the demonstration um, that I have just shown with casein. Now I'm going to make a casein solution from the casein I have just extracted. Step one, you're going to weigh out 2.5 grams of the casein solid. Also measure out 2.5 grams of NaOH solid. Measure out 500 milliliters of water and add it to a flask. Now combine the NaOH, the water, and the casein solid in the flask. If you look closely at the flask, you can see that the NaOH solid has dissolved, but the casein has not. And if you look even closer, you can see a clear gel forming around the casein, which is the NaOH dissolving the casein into the solution. Here's the completely dissolved casein solution ready for use. Here's the materials you will need for determining the effect of pH on protein solubility. 50 milliliters of 2 molar HCl, 50 milliliters of 1 molar NaOH, 250 milliliters of the casein solution, and a magnetic stir and stir bar. Also a couple drops of the universal indicator. You're going to put your magnetic stir in your beaker and place it on the heat pad, and you're going to turn on the stir button. Quickly, let's review pH. pH is a measure of how acidic or basic a solution is. The pH scale goes from 1 to 14, 1 being the most acidic and 14 being the most basic. 
The universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators that will give you a different color for a different pH. The color that the universal indicator helps us identify indicates the pH directly. A pH indicator, like the universal indicator, is a chemical detector for hydronium ion, such as H3O+, or a hydrogen ion, H+. As you see in the image presented, red is the most acidic color, and purple and blue are the most basic. Watch for this as you watch the demo. In this demo, I'm going to add several drops of universal indicator to the case and solution to help us determine the effect of pH on protein solubility by adding HCl, an acid, and NaOH, a base. As we're adding the indicator, you can see that the solution is turning blue, so you know we're starting out with a basic solution. What you're about to see is when a concentrated solution of hydrochloric acid is added drop by drop to a stirred, almost clear solution of casein and I dilute base, the mixture develops a translucent cloudiness, which persists longer and longer as more acid is added, till suddenly the entire solution turns into a milky substance. An additional two to three drops of acid causes the solution to be clear once more. This process can easily be reversed by adding concentrated sodium hydroxide drop by drop to the now acidic solution that will then become basic. I'm now adding hydrochloric acid, HCl, to the casein solution. demonstration we went from a pH of about 9 to a pH of about 4. We're now adding NaOH instead of HCl, making the solution instead of acidic, basic or back to basic. And you'll see the color change happen oppositely. is sensitive to the pH of their solution. It indicated that proteins are affected by acid or base and therefore have properties of acids or bases. These properties originate in the structure of the protein molecules. Two things you need to know about what just happened. Molecules with a net negative charge will repel each other and the protein will remain in the solution, whereas molecules without a net charge no longer repel one another. Because there are negative and positive charges on the molecule, the negative charge on the molecule can be attracted to the positive charge on another. This causes for the molecules to be attracted to each other and come together to form aggregates, forcing the water away from the molecule. This leads to the precipitation of these aggregates of protein molecules, which make the milky mixture produced in the demo. Ready to learn something cool about pH? From the pH at which the net charge on a protein is zero, it's referred to as the isoelectric point. Most proteins have their minimum solubility in solutions at their isoelectric pH. This is at the point at which the maximum cloudiness occurs and the precipitation of casein, which you have just watched in this demo. 
Keep in mind though, this is just an estimate of the isoelectric point for casein because it's really hard to give an exact estimate since it's hard to tell exactly where the most cloudiness is during the reaction. Specifically, casein has a very low isoelectric pH because casein is a phosphoprotein. Uh, this basically means that um, there are phosphate groups bonded to the OH groups on some of the amino acid side chains that have alcohol functional groups. This phosphoate esters also have acid-based properties and even lower pKa than the carboxyl acid groups. The presence of a phosphate ester means that the lower pH is required to neutralize even though these negative charges to yield a protein molecule with a net charge of zero. The result is a low isoelectric pH and an acidic protein. This concludes the demo on how pH affects protein solubility.